it is Friday the 28th of May, May 2021. Um, we've both had a half day at work. It is half term coming up. You've got some holiday. So we are going on holiday for a week in Wales. So the plan is, well, we're all, it isn't the plan, the plan is. The plan was to do it <laughs> Easter last year. Yeah, Easter last year. Then we were going to maybe try Easter this year. Yeah. So um, it's now, yeah, as I said, um, half time. So we are on our way to a campsite in Bristol near the big boat thingy. SS Great Britain. SS Great Britain, that's the one. Um, we were going to stop at Tintern Abbey, but we're not now. We've booked a campsite. So we've just called in at IKEA in Exeter because I find our bed up there a little bit uncomfortable. Um, you're all right on it, aren't you? It's just me. So we've called in IKEA and bought a mattress, quite a thick mattress topper. Um, just put that on the bed in the car park. So we're on the way to, can you remember the campsite's called? Baltic Wharf. Baltic Wharf campsite, that's the one. So we shall see you there, I expect, maybe. Morning, it's Saturday the 29th of May. This is a very quick tour around Carver the Baltic Wharf Caravan and Motorhome Club site, which is closing in September, I think. Should have closed in May, but they could give it a bit of extension because the land's been sold for houses by the council. A bit of a nightmare journey getting here yesterday. It was stop start all the way from Exeter, and then there's roadworks all around here, and we could. Sutton have kept trying to send us down roads that were closed. It's just a manhole cover to get rid of your waste. There's water there, bins are behind the toilet block. Pictures in the middle are the ones with the warnings and all the ones around the edge are without. Nice. Someone's left the rubbish out and all the seagulls are eating it. Unbelievable. There's quite a bit of traffic noise on this site. We have bought a new site near Ashton Court but it just hasn't got planning permission yet. Just gonna go out onto the wharf and have a quick look. This is Baltic Wharf. Don't know. Art. Ah, is it a ship? Yes, I think it's a ship with this sail there and some blobby bits. Very good. Some more art. Your guess is as good as mine. I don't know. It's a ball with some 
long stringy bits of it. Who knows? That's a hand, I can see that. See what he's done there. He's made a hand with a cut or she. Has it got any information? Cast in London. That's uh, Balmoral down there. It used to be a trip boat, Exile of White Ferry. But I know it used to do trips around the Bristol Channel. The big tall masts over there, one, two, three, four, six of them. That's SS Great Britain, but you can't get a view of that from this side of the river. Might see it when we're driving out of Bristol in a minute. And there on the wall, is a Banksy, the girl with the pierced eardrum. The black paint on each there, running down there and there is where it got vandalised, but they left it on because they thought, and running down their face, it looked more atmospheric. But a lot of the Banksy's in Bristol have been vandalised with paintball attacks and that. There we go, that's Bristol. Same day. Florida. So um, we have driven from the campsite at Bristol to Tenby in Tenby, Pembrokeshire. Which is how many miles? It was 100, 
124. 124. Yeah. Yes. We parked at a car park that had two motorhome spaces. Um, and yes, yeah, so this is Tembe what? North, North Beach. North Beach. So we're gonna have a little pop around Tembe. So you said so there's a castle up there. Castle up there. There's What's the castle called? Tembe Castle. Tembe Castle. Ooh, uh, I don't know. It's the old lighthouse. Uh, lifeboat station, the new lifeboat station. I think the old lifeboat station was on Grand Designs. All right. And until recently, Wally the Walrus was here. Yeah. Then he went to Cornwall. And then he's gone. To, he's now in France, but unfortunately, he got hit by a boat. Is that right? Yeah. He's not dead. No. So I don't know what's going to happen to him. Okay, we think this is where? South. South Beach, we think. Cool, it goes all the way over there, look. Yeah. Blimey. Um, I don't know what that is up there yet. There's a castle up there. Oh, that's the castle. There. I think we're going up there in a minute. Lifeboat's yeah. coming in. Okay, so we were down on that beach just now, walked up a load of steps. Uh, so the island has, don't know what the island's called. Is it called St. Catherine's? It's called St. Catherine's Island. So you've got a Napoleonic fort and the remains of a chapel. Okay. But we ain't going up it. Coldry Island. It's got a monastery on it. Sorry, I'm repeating you because I never know whether the microphone's going to pick up your quiet little voice. That's the old one, is it? Not in use anymore. So we're parked. Oh, that car park over there. Oh, not up there then. Oh, I don't know. Hello. So we've walked to the top of um, Tembe Castle. Is it actually called Tembe Castle? Yeah, right, Tembe so. Castle. You think? It's a castle, it's in Tembe. Oh, what if it's wrong? Well, that's good. well, we'll say that in a minute. You can say I'm stupid and it was actually... I hope it is wrong because then I can call you stupid. It's fair, yeah. It's absolutely boiling hot. It's not particularly sunny, but it's very stuffy. Boiling hot. I wish I hadn't worn jeans now. Good. Oh, but they're good. There you go, Prince Albert. I don't know if he's going to come out because he's a bit in uh, the shade. It is nice here, though. Yeah, it's well worth coming back, I think, to yeah. maybe when it's not lurgy, if and if and when that all dies out. This is North Beach Car Park, as you can see, there's coach bays, car bays. At the very top up here are two, well, a very one long space, isn't it, for motorhomes only, um, or oversized vehicles, sorry. Um, so you can fit about two average size motorhomes in it yeah. um, and the rest I'm afraid you're gonna take up two spaces when we we do sometimes take up two spaces in car park car parks but we've got a little thing haven't we we put in the window yeah. where we blue tack the two tickets that we've paid for or however however many we've uh, bought so we, we do pay when we take up more than one space, we do pay for that amount of spaces, but I mean, come on. Oh, 
We have driven seven-ish miles from Tembe to Castle... Keru Castle. Keru Castle. Um, I hope we're saying that right. Sorry if we're not. Which is just behind us, I hope. We're going in now. So there is a tea room, there is a gift shop. How much did it cost us to come in? Seven pound each, there you go, not bad. Quite a big castle, there's a big pond over there. Entry to the mill, I didn't even know there was a mill. There's a pond just down here. So. Is it milk pond? <laughs> oh, see stained glass window there. Cases. Oh. Oh, I can't go away up anyway. Oh. 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 Aha, There's some water. Oh, I see. You can walk all the way around it, going across that thing there. Okay. Ooh, look at all the flies. Cricket match going on over there. Ooh. I'm in here. Oh, it's not going to come out on film, but um, right up there, there's bees just flying, it and you're not going to be able. Yeah, you lot are not going to be able to hear it, but you can just hear buzzing. They're going mental. <laughs> so what would this have been? Stores. 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 
so you've got three crests up there and that's what they sort of like should look like so the first one is Prince Arthur, Prince Arthur. and then the next one is Henry the seventh yeah Henry the seventh and then the last one is uh, Catherine of Aragon No idea what it, what is the lady's solar then? You don't know. All right, that's the mill, is it? Oh, that's okay. The mill, of course it is. That's the mill over there then. So we get free entry to there, eh? Hey? Yeah. So, would you like to tell us about this castle? Have you had your um, smarties? No. No, so it's, it's it is going to be limited. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, King Henry the Seventh lived here for a bit, and then his son Prince Arthur and Catherine of Aragon lived here, but they didn't live here very long because he died. And then Catherine of Aragon married his brother, who became Henry the Eighth. But then one of Years later, one of Henry VIII's illegitimate sons owned it, and he built the Elizabethan extension that you can see on this side, which basically turned it from a castle to a luxurious manor house. Because castles aren't any good with big windows. Thanks. Okay, so it's a flour mill. Follow the arrows on the floor. Oh. Hello, he's waving. Okay. 
I put the further end then? I don't know. I've got no idea. Eh? Seven kilograms. Oh, I see. Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. Holly power. That's the Hovis flowing the Macclesfield, isn't it? We went past on the canal there. Do we? Yeah. Sort of rings a bell. This machine produces hmm. grated flour from the ground. The meals are frozen. Oh, I say. Smelly! Yeah, it's smelly. Unbelievable.
arrived at, where are we? Freshwater East campsite yes. in... Freshwater East. Yeah, but where's that? Pembrokeshire. Pembrokeshire, that's all I need to know. Pembrokeshire. Um, it's quite crowded, isn't it? Yeah. We sort of like drove around the campsite and there's some like hard, hard standard pictures, but there was like people there that might have been like maybe groups together. Groups together just sat out watching us park, so we didn't look good yet. So anyway, we found um, a grass pitch near the entrance. <laughs> but the but the um the ground is quite soft. <laughs> so we've got the chocks out. But yeah, I'm, I'm sort of like, anyway. Um so yeah, on the way up yesterday we called in at IKEA at Exeter because I've I've been having trouble sleeping on our mattress up up there. Um so we got a mattress topper, so I'm gonna show you that now. Uh right, so there's our bed. Let me just clamber up here. Here's our bed. So this would have been our ordinary mattress. That's what we used to sleep on. But we bought a mattress topper. It's memory foam. Memory foam mattress topper. So obviously my sheet now is not big enough to tuck all the way into there. So I'm having to just put it on the top of there. So I might have to make a, a frilly bit that goes there. Oh! and so today there's himself sprawled out there um today so we came from bristol wherever that is and then we came over the yeah we came over the bridge didn't we uh this is a map of wales and at the time we, we didn't realize it's all in welsh we ordered the welsh one and not the english one which any welsh people's going to find hilarious <laughs> Right, so anyway, um, yeah, so we came across and we drove all the way along to here, um, which is where the castle, what's the castle called? Carew Castle. We went to Tembe first. Tem oh yeah, Tembe and Carew Castle, that's all around that area. Um, where are we going tomorrow? I have no idea. St. Pembroke. Dave, Pembroke. No, St. Oh God. I have no idea. It's in Welsh. I can't read it. Pembroke's not very far from Welsh. Pembroke's yeah. sort of like, yeah. And then just keep going straight along. Same level, but it's the pokiest pokey outfit. No idea. Absolutely no. Somewhere there. Um, yeah, so the, anyway, the plan is we're going blah, 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 Anglesey, blah, 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 and somehow back down. Um, yes. So. So that's that. Say goodbye. Bye. 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 <laughs>